Back in my school days in Australia, I was taught a very strange algorithm for doing long division. It looked like this. Suppose I want to do 276 divided by 12. Well, I was first required to draw a funny symbol that looked like that. I had to write 276 underneath the symbol, and I had to write 12 to the left of the symbol. Very, very strange. Now, I'll keep explaining what I had to do there, but let me just, for comparison's sake, let me draw the dots and boxes version of what we're doing on the right-hand side as well. So, 276 looks like 200, 70, 7 tens, and 6, and I'll be looking for groups of 12, which I know with explosions will look like 1 dot next to 2 dots. Okay, back to Australia. So let's see, I was first told to look at the very first digit here and ask, do I see any 12s in 2? Don't be silly, there's no 12s in 2, don't do that. What's the equivalent of, of doing that? It's saying like, oh, James, look at those two dots. Do you see any 12s amongst just those two dots? No, don't do it, not, not worth looking at. Back in Australia, then say, okay, two didn't work out for you, now go two seven. Think of these two numbers together and think of it, actually do think of it as 27, which I thought was very strange. Are there any 12s in 27? And I'm thinking, okay, two 12s makes 24. Yes, two 12s makes 24. Had to write two 12s as 24 there, and that was two of them. Great. All right, so what am I really doing there? So I'm saying, okay, look at the two and the seven, and I'm asking, are there any 12s there? Do I see any one dot next to two dots in this part of the picture? And the answer is yes. There's one dot next to two dots right there. There's another one dot next to two dots. There's two 12s right there, two at that level. In fact, I even wrote two at that level. Great. All right, then in Australia, I was required to suddenly do a subtraction problem in the middle of all this, which I thought was a bit strange. 27 take away 24 is three. Okay, what's that three? Well, I look over here. Okay, I say, okay, well, I've dealt with those dots. I've dealt with those dots. I guess I've got three more dots to still to deal with. Okay, that makes sense. There's three dots still to deal with. Back in Australia, they need to draw something, do something really weird that really confused me as a kid. We need to draw a little arrow, bring the six down, and attach it to the three. So this was a three, but now it's suddenly 36. Whoa, whoa. I was asked, how many twirls are in 36? Um, three of them. Write the three up there and actually write the answer three twelves is 36. Now, what am I doing there? Well, look at this. I've got three dots here and now I'm also bringing my attention to six dots over here. So three dots and six dots. Okay, think of three dots and six dots. Great. Do I see any twelves there? Why, yes I do. There's one dot next to two dots there. That's one twelve. Here's a second twelve. Here's a third twelve. Yes, I did see three twelves at that level. Great. All right, back in Australia, I was required to do a little subtraction. 36 take away 36 is zero, and apparently getting zero is good. I never really understood why. Well, now I see why. That means, oh, there's no more dots to deal with. It tells me I'm done. The answer really is 23. Oh, the answer really is 23. Whoa, so I was taught this algorithm with no understanding whatsoever. I wish someone would draw me a picture like that, because once I see that picture, it kind of sticks in my head. I don't actually need to draw the picture every single time, but now I can see the picture in my mind's eyes. I do something strange like this. I can see what's going on. You've got to love these pictures. You don't have to draw them every single time, but once they're in your brain once, they come with you forever, and that's fabulous. Makes perfectly good sense there. This is great stuff. As a bonus, here's another way to do division. Let's do this example, 7532 divided by two. But look, I set up like I'm doing like a, a long addition problem or a long subtraction or something. It looks like a standard algorithm. Here's how it's gonna go. I'll show you the method first, then I'll explain what's going on with the dots and boxes picture. All right, 7532 divided by two. First look at the first digit. How many times does two go to seven? It goes in three times with one remaining. Now think of that five as 15 all of a sudden. How many times does two go to 15? I'm thinking 14, that goes in seven times with one remaining. Now think of that three as having been changed to 13. How many times does two go to 13? Six times is 12 with one remaining. And two into 12, how many times does two go to 12? Six times. Seven, five, three, two divided by two really is 3,766. Whoa, what did I just do? Let me show you what I just did. Literally show you what I did. Here's a picture. We did 7,000, 7,532, uh, and we're looking for groups of two. 
All right, I first asked how many times does two go into seven? Well, I see three groups of two, there they are. And I wrote three groups of two, there they are, with one left over. What do I do with that one? Well, I made that five become 15, so I unexploded it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extra ten dots really did make it 15. How many groups of two do I see amongst 15 dots? Well, I see seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with one left over. Seven of them with one left over. But I'm going to unexplode that one and make this three suddenly become 13. There it is, 13. How many times does two go into 13? Six times, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, with one left over. Six with one left over. Why would we do the extra one? I'm going to bring it over to the two and turn that two into a 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. And how many groups of two do I see amongst 12? Six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I even wrote that final six. There it is. I can see what's going on that crazy method with the dots and boxes picture. So let me just show you the method again on the final two of them. And your job, is, if you like, is to draw the dots and boxes picture that goes with that to explain what I just did, and draw the dots and boxes picture to go with this one to explain what I'm about to do with that one as well. Here goes. 6, 3, 2 divided by 4. First digit, how many times does 4 go into 6? One time, and there'll be two left over. Okay, 23. Think 23 now. How many times does 4 go to 23? I'm thinking 5 times. That's uh, 5 fours is 20 with 3 left over. And how many times does 4 go into 32? 8 times. 6, 3, 2 divided by 4 is 158. Whoa! Okay, 2, 7, 8, 3 divided by 23. Uh, look at the first digit, 2. How many times does 23 go into 2? It doesn't, don't bother doing it. Now think 27, okay. How many 23s are in 27? Well, it's going to be 1 with 4 left over. Now think of that 8 as changed to 48. How many 23s are in 48? Um, 2 23s is 46. That's close, 2 of them with 2 left over. And how many 23s do I see in 23? 1. 2, 7, 8, 3 divided by 23 is 121. Whoa! Draw me the pictures to show what happened just then. This is really cool.